Hi everyone. So today is another day out. Um, like I said yesterday in my Blu-ray hunt video, I was going to go to Hastings. We almost didn't go because where the temperature's so bad, so high, I should say, um, and it's only going to get worse. I struggle to sleep at night. I really do. And last night I ended up um, coming out of the bedroom, going downstairs to the front room, trying to sleep on the sofa. That didn't work, and I ended up on the floor. Um, yeah, with nothing on, because um, that's our sleep. Not that you want that picture in your head at all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I just decked out on the floor. I'm, I'm like a dog that finds the coolest spot in the house. Um, so there was a window that was open, so I had that the cool, cool air coming in, but it was very hot. Um, so I said to my missus this morning, look, I haven't slept very well. She said, do you not want to go? Go another day. I said, yeah. Then I thought, hold on a minute. This could only get worse over the next few days. The lack of sleep could get worse. So I said, yeah, let's go and do it today. Let's go today. Um, so here we are. That brings me to now and we're off. Um, she's just gone in to Tesco Express for her morning routine of a Costa coffee. Um, yeah, so, like I said, Hastings, we'll have a look around. Uh, I'm not going for the reason, for that reason, but being that there's a CEX there, obviously I'll go in and I'll take a look. Um, and I'll look in the other shops and that. So, let's go. So, we've arrived in Hastings. Sea looks nice and clear and calm, very calm actually. Spookily calm. Um, if I squint hard enough and stand on tiptoe, I can just about see Gibraltar over that way somewhere. <laughs> I'll get there at some point. But I think I've parked right at the very end of 63 miles to London. Very end of Hastings. So we're going to head down and see what's what. So my guess is up that way for CEX. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I'm in the shopping centre and CEX is just over there. As you can see, so we'll go in and we'll take a look. Okay, so let's have a look what they've got. There we go. Um, that's quite a big section. Quite a huge section in here actually. So they might have some stuff that I haven't got. Deep Red, £28. Hobbit Hobbit, Murder on Orange Express, 4k, £6, good price. Still book for Transformers, 15 Nice, nice. Blade Runner, 4k. Oh no, this is like a 4k section. Suicide Squad, 15 quid. Don't have that steel book. 4k Meg. Clockwork Orange, £28. 4K Free Spider Man's 32. Matrix, X Man, Hobbit, Skyfall, American Graffiti there. Rental copy. The Batman, From Dust Till Dawn, The Bridge, Blade, Trilogy. Dark Knight there, the Standard, Atomic Blonde. Boom, 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 boom. Batman Assault on Arkham. Bombshell, six pound. Birds of Prey, fiver. Black Panther, two fifty. Two pound cop suit, Liam Neeson. That was a very good film. Batman Hush there. Bone Tom Hawk, five pound. Bad Lieutenant, the first one. Black Death. I thought that was a Sean Bean one. Does he die in that? I wonder. 
the original crazies. Deep blue sea one, 350. Free guy, Final Destination one, three pound in there. Empire of the Sun. Friends of Benefits of Fury. Yeah, um, Sam Jackson, Fast and Furious 5, Steelbook, four pound. Ghost Rider with a Lenticular, three pound. Geo Storm, two pound. Hot Fires. Gross Point Blank, fantastic film, really good. Got a steel book for it. A very, very good film, that one. Heroes, £1.50. Then we have Homesman, Hustlers, Incoming Glorious Bastards, £3. Apocalypse. Kill Bill, Licorice Pizza, Lupa, Craze there, and that special edition box, I think they would come and check what I was doing, um, so we'll see if I get told to not film in a minute, if that's the case I will apologise and leave. Yeah, Predator, Pixels, Rogue Rover, um, Sean and It, Steelbook, £10. Pound. Don't think I've ever seen that Steelbook before. Walking Dead, World's End, Water Diviner. Russell Crowe, V Vendetta. So, yeah. Okay, so that was CEX, and now there is a HMV here. I'll go and take a quick look. They've got a matter of a sales section with some stuff in. Who knows? This a nice statue. So there's the HMV. So Operation Mince Meat, 2 for 25 already. Morbius. Oh, this is Pops. Three ninety nine. Crazy deals. They have preacher T-shirt. For a t shirt and Star Wars Black Cassandra. These are made by McFarlane Toys now. So they're very well due. Ten ninety nine. It's good price. Flash. So that sale box here. With stuff in.
here. Rage Replicas, Great Gatsby 4K, Tenet Special Edition 4K, E First Edition. Just scanning at the moment, not really looking in depth. So now let's have a quick look in Poundland. You never know. We do know. Uh, this is the area where they would have had any sort of fit. I know they've got some. Look. Wow, Skyfall, £2. Pound. Bridesmaids, kick ass. Toy Story 3, Bridget Jones in between us, and Born Identity. And there we go. That was a very quick look in Poundland. We do have a couple of charity shops here next to one another. British Heart Foundation and Oxfam. So we'll take a look. Uh, we do have some DVDs, this is in the other one now. Ball not made of steel book, 299. Oh, wow, we. T2 there. One pound. And then in the kids section, we do have. Lots of aliens up. Down, plants there, fantastic foods. Days of diesel. But nothing of any interest. I see you over there. Oh, yes, you. Do. Come on over oh, and let Voltar be sharing with you your. I'm going to walk up this road here. Hasting Old Town. Tin signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that the one that takes us up to the? Yeah, the park All right, we'll go. We'll have a look through here first. Yeah. Transformers Annual 2015. Star Wars. Stormtroopers. Old Town Sweets.
these old buildings. Don't know where that goes, but it's a fabulous little alleyway. Ah. It's a pub. Lovely. Hastings Miniature Railway. I was going to get the train up the cliff there, but that's um, closed today for maintenance apparently. Not that there's anyone working on it. So we're going to see if we can find the other one. There are two. Okay, so there's like the cliff railway. As you can see there, it goes up the cliff to the top, back down. Um, but like I said, it's not working today. It's not running, which is unfortunate. But there is a second one that operates on a different, um, different cliff. We'll go and see if that one is operating and go up the top. Here's a uh, lifeboat station. That's off with lifeboat and now on a tracked. Comes out on a tracked vehicle. You can see. You've got to respect the people that do that. You really have. Beware the miniature train. Train tracks. Switch and cross in there. I said, as you can see, the sea is just so calm. There's like hardly any movement to it. I mean, there's a little bit, but almost like looking at a lake. I don't think I've ever seen a sea as calm as that. Probably much like what the sea was like the night the Titanic sank. Apparently that was very calm as well and they couldn't see the breakwater at the bottom of the iceberg which was part of the reason it was just invisible to them. Austin Powers, Shaguar. Look at those. What nice are they? So back from Hastings, um, really caught the sun, didn't I? Look at that. Bloody hell. Anyway, let's button that up. Yeah, so I have caught the sun. Um, what can I say? Decent day out. Um, but I know I'm getting old when I don't want to walk around. Um, and the highlight of my day is getting a cup of tea. Yeah, sitting down on the beachfront at a little cafe and getting a cup of tea is like the highlight of my day. Now, I remember being a kid and going away with my mum and dad, and every time they stopped for a cup of tea, I would, like, oh, I'm like, oh, for, you know, now I've got to sit around doing nothing for, for 15, 20 minutes, a uh, half hour while they have a cup of tea. Um, and I've turned into that person. 
I've turned into that person now. Who would have thought it? But, regardless, um, when I used to take my kids away, myself, my kids, when they were small, I was up and at it every day. There wasn't a day that that I wouldn't be doing something with them. It's like, come on, kids, we're out. We're going off to do this. We're going off to do this. We're going off to do this. Um, it was never, you know, I weren't one who sit on the beach and, and let them just play about on the beach. It was like, we've got to go somewhere. We've got to do something, which I suppose they might have missed out in that sense, that just sitting and playing on the beach. But it wasn't for me. But anyway, so there we go. So I had one pickup today um, in that CEX. Didn't get nothing in, in any of the um, um, charity shops or anything like that. But you saw that I did take a look. And the one film that I picked up was um, the big hit. Yeah, now <laughs> CEX has plastered an 18 on it there. An 18 sticker on the side, an 18 sticker on the back. Because on the actual sleeve, there is no... Um, age ratings yeah but on the disc there is an 18 now the big hit is a film star Mark Wahlberg Lou Diamond Phillips Christina Applegate um, and it's a film that um, I've got on DVD actually in one of my boxes it's in a dual case dual case release and I remember enjoying this film back in the day very early one of Mark Wahlberg's um, but I remember enjoying it, um, and I've never actually seen it on Blu-ray before. Can't say I've ever seen it, ever had a release. All, not only that, it's actually got a, a thin case as well to it. So, yeah. Um, so that was it. Now, tomorrow, um, at the moment, I've got no plans on doing anything. I want to take a lazy day, just a day in, doing nothing um yeah but knowing me tomorrow will come then i'm like i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens um yes so that's it this is me done this is aj thanks for watching and um see you on the next one take care all and goodbye